Hello. Hello there, Elsie Colley here. I empower people like you to dream big, create a roadmap, and achieve your dreams now. And if you're ready to take that next step and solidify your plans for world domination, go ahead and order your book of Be a Life Breather, Transform Your Vision into Reality. It's going to help you with all the steps to get there. Um, this is my story, my philosophy on how using the power of love can um, change any situation in your life and gives you the tools to kind of empower yourself to get all of this down on paper as far as your purpose and your mantra and your bucket list and help you do your vision and all that good stuff. So you can order your copy at BeALifeBreather.com. And I just wanted to do a video because there's so much um, going on right now. And I wanted to like give you a heads up on a whole bunch of stuff. And I was just, I have so, I, I just never have a chance to go get on and go live because it's just me and my son most of the time. So I just don't have a chance. Hello, Bread of Life Church. Pastor Candy, interesting name. So I just don't have a chance to, to get on and go live very often. And I wish I had more opportunities to make videos. But um, right now, this is just, this is my life right now. Um, so I have to come on when I can. And normally I have like a whole bunch of stuff to go over. So I have like a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to go over and show you different clips of different things to just get you um, informed on kind of what's happening in the whole like truther division and all this. Um, so there's a lot of things happening. Um, there was a video that was done the other day by Wrist Flex and Wrist Flex um, had M Seeker of Truth on her show. And they were talking about what Kirsten W. had been talking about and trying to expose before she passed, before she died. Um, and I had kind of forgotten about that because I don't know if you remember, but um, she had said, you know, Charlie Ward was basically saying that he was not vetting his his information that he was giving out and he was not um, researching any of this or like I said vetting any sources or you know doing the work to find out if these people were legit and he really couldn't because he was having like five six people doing interviews a day and so he was putting out a lot of information that she felt was not accurate information. And that's why Kirsten severed ties with him. And that was the main reason she was vocal about that. Um, but it's interesting. Riz Flex did a video um, with M Seeker of Truth. And apparently Kirsten W. was talking to both of them um, the weeks leading up to her death about Charlie Ward. And she was trying to expose Charlie Ward for basically she kind of said um, the human T wording, you know, the, the moving around of little humans and stuff like that. Um, she kind of alluded to that. And so I have a couple clips here and I'll just play them because I don't want to mess anything up. Charlie Ward's gotten really nasty. And he's attacked one of these guys that, that did the video, 30 Reasons Not to Trust Charlie Ward. And he made a video saying that the guy was a pedo. Okay, that's how nasty he's getting. Charlie Ward's losing it. Okay, so I protected Charlie when um, Satan or Santa Surfing was attacking him on Twitter. Okay, but I still left the show and his ego couldn't handle it. His ego just couldn't handle it, all right? So, um, 
So basically what happened was, um, you know, uh, he took milk, which is fine. He could take milk. I don't really care. Um, everything was fine. I did, when I did the show, I said, you know, Charlie's always been polite to me. He's been gentleman, but you know, his information is garbage and everything that he predicts, nothing comes through. So that's what I mean by misinformation, Charlie Ward. And number two, okay, I protected you. Then you went after me. You blacklisted me with Nick Veneman because when I went on his show and we did a great video, he put it up and you made him take it down. So that's called blacklisting someone. You didn't, you, and then Mel K, my ex protege, was coming to do a show with me and you blocked her and um, you wouldn't let her come on the show because I exposed you. Now I'm really going to expose you, okay? Um, I am going to say that you always say that you basically transport a lot of items, okay, for the elite. You transport the cash, you transport the jewelry, and you transport some things that might be alive. And, um, yeah, that might be, you know, something and i think you would know what that is yeah this is kim gogan who has this chain okay so yeah so she was saying that um charlie ward um had called out this guy this m seeker of truth m seeker of truth you can look at his channel He's the word. He's the one that did the video. Um, Thirty reasons why I don't trust Charlie Ward. Something like that. And he laid out all of his evidence and everything of why he did not trust Charlie Ward. And um, one of the one of the big one of the big finale items was. A quote of, um, sorry, make sure I have this right. But one of the big items that I think was like close to the bottom, like the number one type thing, was what Charlie Ward said about getting girls into Top of the Pops, which was like the top TV show back in the day. But, I mean, Charlie Ward has been very vocal that he's transported things for elite people. And he moves money around. He moves gold and silver around. And he moves things for elite people. And that's what he did. And so I don't think any of these people claim to be innocent. You know what I mean? Like, they, a lot of them come from this corruption. Um... Kirsten grew up with the CCP. She grew up in the sex kitten as a, you know, the whole sex kitten program in K Ultra. And she admitted that with Scott. Um, so it's not like these people have these angelic paths where they used to be these angels. No, like these people did a lot of dark things. And there is something about Charlie Ward. It's like, seems like you don't want to get on his bad side type thing. Um, that's why I just prefer to stick with like women. <laughs> I don't want to be in that club, whatever that club is. You know, it seems like there's, they really did blackball Kirsten um, because of her attacks on Charlie. Um and, and she did. I mean, they even showed the text where Nicholas Vinyaman said, hey, it's not personal. It's just that, you know, I'm friends with Charlie and I'm friends with Mel K. So I have to take our video down. So Kirsten W. and Nicholas Vinyaman did a great video. But because Nicholas Vinyaman had to bow down to Charlie Ward, who's apparently kind of running the show with Nicholas anyway, um, he deleted it or he took the video down about, you know, just a few minutes after he had put it up. So um, let's remember who Charlie Ward is, right? 
Um, and you can see this video yourself on Team Bubba. But let's let's listen to what Charlie Ward said years ago. That has been deleted multiple times, but is still up on this site called Team Bubba. It's on YouTube. You can see it yourself. Yeah, so just don't pay attention to my camera. I don't know why. I can't get it to sit straight. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, get me on top of the pop so I can take probably five or ten girls on the wing. I said, well, I'll take you on, but you'll end up having to shag the bloke. You know, they'll probably want to do it. Yeah. Like, no problem, no problem. We can, we can, you know. Into the BBC. I it. used to be able to get on to a very famous program called Top of the Pops. And a lot of the girls would say to me, Charlie, Charlie, get me on top of the pops. And I could take probably five or ten girls on a week. I said, well, I'll take you on, but you'll end up having the shag of the bloke that you know, you'll probably want to shag. And they were like, no problem, no problem. We can, we can, you know. Yeah. And doctor was never a problem. Right. Now, 30 years on, and then their marriage is dissolved, and they're in their 50s and 60s, it suddenly become a problem. It wasn't a problem all those years ago. Right. But these girls saying I'm quite happy to come there. So I'm, I'm very, very careful. Now, there is a lot of bad things going on for it, definitely. And there was bad things going on there because a lot of these girls were, young girls, were young girls. And these girls were young girls. And these girls were young girls. And these girls So that was who he was, you know, or is or whatever. I don't know. Um, so... Let's just keep in mind a lot of these people who are actors in this movie because they are actors in this movie. Um, they don't have pretty pass, you know, they they don't it's not like they they they've been a warrior of truth for humanity this whole time. Like a lot of these people have dark pasts. Kirsten, dark past. Charlie Ward, dark past. And then also, um, I don't know if you are aware, but Carrie Cassidy called out Kim Gogan and said that she has a handler. Um, so Carrie Cassidy... Um, Probably dark past. I don't know. But she's definitely in the club. You know, like she's, seems like she's one of them. When I say one of them, I'm talking like Charlie Ward, Michael Jaco, David Rodriguez, Scott McKay, Carrie Cassidy, um, but I don't know if you're aware, but she totally called out Kim Gogan. <laughs> I'm going to let you hear this. Yeah. Who has this channel. I forget the name of the channel. But she apparently went out and made a video. Now, this is not the first time she attacked Juan. Actually, she, I guess, was building up to it because she, in a prior video or two, she had attacked him. And remember, Kirsten W. attacked Juan, too. And remember, that's why Scott McKay had to put Kirsten W. in a timeout. And he said that on his show. So remember, when you say things about certain people, you get canned. And that's what happened to Kirsten. So I thought that was interesting because it's connecting again. Um, you know, here, Kim Gogan said something about 107 and now Carrie Cassidy is giving Kim the boot. Just interesting. Just thinking out loud here. In those. But she was actually, a lot of times her information is wrong. Now, I actually, as I say, have interviewed her two or three times. I've also uh, sort of formed a, a friendship would probably be too much to say, but 
I like her as a person. I don't think she's a, I don't think she's a bad person, but I do think she's handled by bad people. And I do think she either doesn't do her homework or believes that she's working for the good people. <laughs> you know, that does So do you think she's mind controlled? Is that? Um, I think that perhaps when she was young, she was, because she seems to have gaps in her understanding and her memory of the overall story that I'm telling you. Anyway, I don't want to get into her psychology so much as to explain that. So she put herself out here in this way to attack Juan in a very prominent way uh, with this sort of sidekick, Sonny, on a recent video, very recent. It, it, it may have only been released this week. And so when that video came out, and I had had occasional conversations with her because you got to understand that what I do is fairly unusual and I have contacts everywhere and I don't throw somebody under the bus because they have a dark past. Understanding that because the people that I, all the people I interview have dark pasts, but it's very important to understand that contrary to what Kim said on one of her broadcasts, he wasn't, he didn't assign himself this task, okay? He was obviously the person who, if you understand his profile, I mean, that since he was a kid, he was groomed to be, to run for politics. Absolutely. Um, in okay. fact, <laughs> even people that don't know what, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, you could even call it a kind of a, a Christ-like attitude about these people is that they know not what they do, okay? So maybe that's kind of an overlay that I have when I approach people that have worked on the dark side or come from the dark side, et cetera, et cetera. Or, for example, Kim, she she is in this attack on Juan. She is clearly putting out disinfo. When I talk to her, even offline, I get the impression she kind of doesn't know the real truth. She has been told by her handlers certain things and she takes it at face value. That's the way it sounds to me. But it sounds to me. But she may also have a deeper motive, which I don't know what it is, but I don't imagine she's ever admitted to having handlers. That's something that you uh, well she tells me yes I, I think i can say this she told me very openly she works with darpa and the generals that's what she says oh, okay. those are her handlers i mean you know now she'll say no they're not so um yeah she totally outed kim gogan and said that kim gogan has handlers and um and i believe it she seems AI. She seems programmed. I don't feel good about Kim Gogan. I never have. And I'm gullible. So if she can't fool me, then <laughs> I don't know. Um, but let me also point out the fact that when Tarot by Janine did a reading on Kim Gogan, which she's read on her, I think twice at least, she called this a long time ago. So here we go back to say to looking and seeing what Tarot by Janine had to say. And, you know, it's taken Carrie how long to learn this about Kim? Well, Janine saw it in her cards right away. And it says, and she said something to the along the lines of she doesn't know she's working for the dark side, but she's working for the dark side. And that was over a year ago. That was a long time ago that she said that. Um, so just want to point out, Janine was right. Um, so there's that. And then also, um, so Janine posted on her Telegram about Bryce. It's out in the open now. And um, also Catherine Edwards did a video about it. So... Um, it's out in the open now. I was the only one who had said it before, 
um, because actually Bryce hadn't said Janine, like she hadn't named her by name. She had just given clues. Um, and that's why when I asked Ishmael about it, I did not use Bryce's name. I just used Janine's name. Um, but it's out in the open now and we can talk about it now. And, um, Janine has specifically come out and said, um, this is false information. So let me tell you exactly what she said, because Janine on her telegram on August 26th, she made a post and she says, this person has been spreading unbelievable lies, but this, you know, so let me read it to you. Okay. So it says, this person has been spreading, um, and you can see it yourself if you go to Tarot by Janine channel on Telegram. It's Tarot by Janine channel. Um, she has 60, almost 66,000 subscribers. So Tarot by Janine says, this person has been spe spreading unbelievable lies about myself and Julie for more than a year. She has never even met Julie, but became insanely jealous Upon watching Julie on a YouTube interview with John Claude, I am no longer keeping quiet about her. She is certifiably crazy and now accusing Julie and I of robbing her. Unbelievable and unfortunately proves she's lost the plot. I am sending her ravens. She's going to need them. And it says, notice to Bryce, either legally accuse... Where is it? My phone is doing weird stuff. Either legally accuse Julie or myself of stealing from you and spell casting by means of your birth chart or publicly apologize for your behavior. Um, and then she screenshotted this part. Um where it says Bryce tweeted, now it's up to $30,000 taken from my AdSense. Don't ever give up your YouTube password to anyone if you trust them. To the person in Canada getting money from my work, you stole my natal chart and my money. No wonder there are hit pieces all over the internet about you, evil. And someone said, is it the crow lady? And she said, and her coven. So, I mean, she literally accused Janine of, and Janine and her coven of stealing over $30,000 in AdSense from her YouTube account. So, um, so it's out there. <laughs> and Janine's not happy. She is finally saying something she hasn't said anything i don't think i don't think she's addressed it at all um since this whole year um but she finally did and also um john claude is involved too john claude made a post today well on august 28th he made a post and let me just read it to you um, but you can see it yourself. You can go. Um, it says, public notice, criminal accusations made by Bryce of Esoteric Atlanta. Bryce, I'm very concerned and sorry to learn about your escalating claims against Janine of Tara by Janine and Julie of Maison Jupiter. From what I gather, neither Janine nor Julie have ever made public claims against you until recently escalated to making criminal accusations against them. On the other hand, it's evident you've been making serious and public criminal accusations against them for nine months now. Be advised that your multiple public accusations, if determined to be unfounded, could lead to grave and consequential defamation lawsuit against you. Social media is not the place to resolve this if there's any criminal activity involved. If your intent is truly to seek justice and financial reparations, then you must for your highest interest, immediately contract the proper authorities to submit and file all of your alleged material evidence. 
to wit, your failure to do so in very short order would publicly indicate that your true motives are to cyber bully and sully the reputations of both Terabyte Janine and Mason Jupiter. Please be advised. And again, this is coming from John Claude at Beyond Mystic to Bryce, and he posted it publicly on Twitter today, yesterday. Please be advised. One, two, three. One, I do not have your YouTube username nor password. Two, moving forward, please refrain from giving out my private contact information to anyone other than property proper authorities. Well, the top part of one also said, hence it is not possible for either of the above mentioned parties to have nefariously obtained nor stolen them from the manner you described. And then three, two is moving forward. Don't give his contact information. Three further attempts to contact me about this matter by you or anyone other than jurisdictional authorities will be treated as cyberbullying and harassment. I trust will you take the property, the appropriate steps to quickly resolve this matter through proper authorities so that your alleged claims can finally be investigated and adjudicated. If the adjudication repudiates your criminal accusations, then you will need to make a very public apology, wishing for the very best possible outcome and healing for the highest good of everyone involved. So the gloves are off and I'm kind of concerned for Bryce at this point. I mean, we know um, Janine is tough and Janine can hold her own. And um, I think we all just need to send love and light um, to Bryce and just like, hopefully it's going to be okay. I mean, maybe she was mistaken. Maybe, maybe it was actually somebody else who did this uh, spiritual attack. Maybe she thought it was Janine and it wasn't, or maybe it was. And then there's no way she could ever prove it. So I don't know, but um, I'm just telling you kind of what's happened. And then also um, Catherine Edwards went ahead and weighed in on that today. And that was just after, I guess, Maybe this was after John Claude issued that statement. Statement, I'm not sure. Now, what I want you to all do is is really, really look at what this has provoked in yourself, and why we as humans feel the need to get involved. People can project and say, "Well, this person shouldn't have said that," and they started it. But every time you're doing that, you're continuing it. So every party involved in this, and that includes me talking about it now, it includes everyone who's made a comment on it. It, it anyone who's choosing to take it forward is, is carrying that energy forward. And what are you wanting to carry forward? Take a look at yourself in this. Why is certain things tricking you? Why are you feeling the need to take sides? Why are you feeling that this person that has actually put their heart, soul, and I'm talking about all of them, as I said, I'm not just talking about Bryce and, and Janine. I'm talking about the Ishmael, I'm talking about the Elena, I'm talking about the JC, I'm talking about the Mark Edward, I'm talking about all these people, all the divisions that have been everywhere that people are putting out there. It's completely, our truth is just our truth, and we can never see the world through someone else's eyes. So... A lot of people, you know, we've all had different times and everyone has been reliant on these channels. And, you know, we've, we've myself out there, we don't know what we're doing. We're just putting ourselves out there and doing the best we can with the information that we've got. And, and the thing. So, so her point was don't get involved and be nice and don't comment, you know, mean things. Um, but I think it's just kind of a, an odd thing to say, like, don't get involved because like we're all involved and we all care and we're all just trying to figure it out, you know? Um, so she's asking, look at what this triggers in you. Well, that kind of sounds like she's lecturing us and she's telling us not to get involved in their life, but like um, Bryce is the one who got all of us involved. 
because for the people who who watch Bryce and love Bryce and and we also love Janine, I know for me how it affected me was that um you know, I really wanted to watch Tarot by Janine and I loved it. And like um, a lot of people said it was like it was their guilty pleasure. Right. It was their guilty pleasure. And um, and it was just interesting. I don't know. Janine Janine picked really good topics like every time her show, every time she did a show on Tarot by Janine, she just her topics were on point. It was like what we wanted to know. And so for me, it's like, I really wanted to watch it. But then, you know, Stephanie and Bryce are saying they're putting spells on you. You know, look at the colors, look at the, look at the fingernails. They're spell casting you. Um, and so, you know, I felt this fear when I watched it. And I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, it's, you trust people, <laughs> you know, you trust people and like Bryce, like just being a, such an avid researcher and having studied all these spiritual practices for so long, like almost her whole life, like, um, I trusted her and, you know, I thought Janine did these, I thought maybe Maybe Janine did these horrible things, um, but I don't think she did. I don't think Janine did, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I actually had a um, session with Kristen from Arcana Shores, and um, and we I asked her to read on this situation. So if we have time, I'll go over that. Um, but the gloves are off. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but Michael Jaco's newest channel, Michael Jaco 7, um, got deleted. And so Michael Jaco is not on YouTube anymore. And he says he's done with YouTube. So um, I saw that. He said that on um, Tom Numbers episode where it was like him and Janine and Tom Numbers. And I think that came out yesterday and that was really good. Um, and I also thought it was kind of odd. He asked Janine, um, if, if, um, so, you know, they were asking questions where Janine will pull the cards on the questions, you know? Um, so he asked Janine if, um, truthers are going to start getting arrested because apparently there was a guy who was a truther and he was mid video. And they came in and literally arrested him as he's, like, recording a video. I'm like, oh, my God. Please don't arrest me. I'm just a mom. I'm just a mom talking, okay? Like, oh, my God. I I hope not. But God, it's like you almost wouldn't be surprised if this stuff starts happening, you know? Especially with Mr. T. I'm like, gosh, is Mr. T going to be arrested? what the heck is going on? Like, it's just crazy, but just get ready. Just get ready for this craziness. And, um, this bread of life church pastor candy, it says, it says, what do you think about wrist flex? Um, I don't know. I think she's pretty cool. I like her. And I just, I think she's part of the cover up saying that Kristen's gone, that Kristen's gone. And I think Kristen's not gone. And I don't know if she really believes Kristen's gone. You know, that was another thing too. Um, so she never talked about the possible, is it possible she could be alive? It's like that was never a question to her. That's what was suspicious to me. Because it's like they have these narratives that they want us to believe. And, you know, the bad guys do this to us, but the white hats do it too. And I do think a lot of these people are working on behalf of the white hats. And I think that this has never happened before. 
Um, JCK says that 90% of the truther movement is infiltrated by black hats, by in infiltrated by the dark. Well, I, th I think that, I think she's right. I think 90% have been infiltrated. Um, and some of the truthers are good people and, and they've always been good and fighting the good fight. And then some of the truthers are people who were on the dark side that came over to the light side, probably to save their ass and be actors for this cause. Char <coughs> Charlie Ward. We know you guilty, Charlie. Come on. You said that you would get five to ten young, maybe underage girls to come and have sex with these people. You said it on camera, like to Nino on a whole group call. Like, okay, come on, come on now. So we know um, that they are actors, and I think they're actors, and I think that the White Hats are in control. And so, yeah, I do think that they are acting on behalf of the White Hats. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Um, so let me quickly go over my reading with uh, Kristen, because Kristen, with Kristen uh, from Arcana Shores. There's one more thing. Okay, I'll show you the one more thing at the end. Because um, it's, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so I had a reading with uh, Kristen from Arcana Shores. And she did a personal reading on me. And then I wanted to know a couple things. So I wanted to know about Timothy Charles Holmseth. Timothy Charles Holmseth is apparently, um, according to Jesse Saboter, um, involved in the Pentagon Pedophile Task Force, which is being run under Melania. And this is just a rumor. Like, I mean, this is not verified. And, and they have a Pentagon Pedophile Task Force telegram channel that they post stuff. And Timothy Charles Holmes says, posts these videos with, a, with that stupid song, that stupid, horrible song that, you know, where they're pulling all the kids out of the airplane and pulling them out from under the bus. And it's horrible. Like, we all have PTSD from this horrendous song. It's disgusting. But he posts all these videos with all this old content with this stupid song. Um, so it's really annoying. He's, he claims to be a real journalist, but he just looks, mm, he looks pretty trashy to me. And I don't like to say that pub, that, uh, you know, that's not very nice to say, but, um, He's not well kept, you know. Um, if he was like a true professional, then maybe he would look a little more professional. And also there's a picture of him with a little boy um, wearing high heels. A little, little boy. Like just a few years old. And a dress. So, um, so I think that he probably was part of this like maybe he was you know maybe he grew up in the system or maybe his parents sold him into the system or something but Jesse Zaboter swears and stands by her man <laughs> Timothy Charles Holmes up that he is um actively participating in judicial proceedings to put away these bad guys and she swears it you know, she's even like, and this guy, Timothy Charles Holmseth, he, um, he keeps throwing people under the bus. He threw under the bus, David Strait, who is the guy who is teaching a lot of people to become their own, to become their own like state national, um, 
and said that, you know, he's a horrible person because of this. And, um, and then also he did another hit piece, not a couple, like two, three weeks ago on Madison Marquette saying that Mad Madison Marquette was actually trafficking children when she's going in there and rescuing them. And apparently Jesse and Madison are friends and Madison's like, Jesse, why, why are you backing this guy? You know, why are you not backing your friend? Um, and Jesse kind of just backed up Timothy Charles Holmseth. So she's saying that Timothy Charles Holmseth is actually on this Pentagon pedophile task force and they're, they're doing judicial proceedings. So I asked Kristen, I said, is Timothy Charles Holmseth actively participating Participating in um, judicial proceedings to put away the bad guys regarding the kids. The answer was King of Wands, King of Cups, Hierophant, King of Wands, Illusion, Three of Wands, Two of Swords, Four of Swords. So the answer was yes, that he had participated um, in these judicial proceedings and that that it was happening. But then I asked, is he dead or alive? Because Madison Marquette says that there's no proof he's even alive right now. And um, she has reason to believe he's actually not. She's actually has reason to believe that he's actually dead right now. Timothy Charles Holmseth. And so I said, is Timothy Charles Holmseth dead or alive? He's dead. Kristen pulled cards. He's dead. He's not even alive right now. He's gone. There was the moon card. He was captured. There was interrogations. There was torture. Um, I don't know if this was before. But um, apparently he was interrogated and tortured at some point. And I don't know, maybe he was a bad guy and maybe um, he's dead because of that. Um, so I asked about Jesse's a voter. This is a real bummer. <laughs> if you like Jesse, uh, these are just cards, so I don't know if these are accurate, you know. But it, the cards were not good on her. And I love Jessie. Like, I, I know what she's saying is true. Like, it's happened, but it's just weird because there's no emotion. And if you had went through that yourself and experienced what she's experiencing, there would be tears. There would be trauma. There would be sadness, you know, like I don't even think I've ever seen her cry. You know, she's done hundreds of hours of interviews over the last couple of years. And I've probably seen it. I've probably seen at least half of them. Like I've seen a lot and she is laying it out. She is telling the truth. It's just not her truth. So. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, she is also an actress playing a part, which is real disappointing because I really love Jesse. Um, Page of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Devil card, Tower card, Sun card in reverse. Showing past activity, past illegal activity, shady, trafficking, stealing of money. Um, three of cards, full card in reverse. Queen of cups in reverse. High priestess in reverse. I don't know what this means. I guess maybe... Um, Maybe she is working on behalf of the Black Hats. I don't know. I don't know. But they were very, very not good cards. 
And then, so that was Jesse. Hi, Emma. Um, that was Jesse's aboter. Um, and then also, I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and pull cards on Madison then. Madison Marquette. She just said um, it wasn't good cards. It was showed there was dishonesty. There was the moon in reverse. Shady, shady situations. Making up stories. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Devil card again. Um, they, she got the Devil card on Jesse and on Madison. Um, and so I said, okay, well, I guess that's them. And, you know, there's this whole spat that's organized, right? Because about three weeks ago on Aquarius Rising Africa, um, Madison confronted Jesse on camera, put her on the spot literally and said, why are you supporting Timothy Charles Holmseth and not me? Um, so that was all just part of the movie. Um, so I asked about Bryce because, um, because I wanted to put this to bed. I love Bryce. I love Janine. I want to love them both. I don't want to pick sides. Um, that's why I asked Ishmael on the interview. Hey, Ishmael, Janine, is she dark or light? And he said, she's of the light. Like she's, she's been fighting for justice. And then um, Kristen referred that. Um, Kristen um, confirmed that with, with Janine. Like, yes, she's come here fighting on behalf of the children, fighting for justice in multiple different lifetimes. And every time she fights. Um, so that was confirmed by Kristen's cards. And um, hi, Biscuit. Welcome. I'm so glad you joined from the Soul Tribe. Got my hat. You like it? Um, you are awake. The love of God is in you. Don't ever worry. Mike is exposed. Bread of life. When you say Mike is exposed, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Michael Jaco? Um, what do you think about Nino? Dark past. I mean, I think he's a dark past. And um, this is how they um, have redemption. This is their redemption. By playing this part. And that's just how it is. Like, unfortunately... Um, there was something that happened years ago when the whole 2017 thing happened, the October Anons posting posts and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of people, millions of people who went through this from 2017 to 2020 and they're learning everything that we, that we're learning now. And they went through all of this. And my friend that was there from the very beginning, she's one of these researcher grandmas, which a lot of these 17s are. Grandmas. Awake grandmas. And they lived it, you know. And she reminds me all the time. I wish I had a dollar for every time she's told me this. What you're seeing now has already happened. What you're seeing now, it looks like it's playing out now, but it's not right now. It happened years ago, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. It happened years ago. They need the actors to make it look like it's happening now. So what we're experiencing now it's already done and it's already happened and we just have to play it out. So 
we're on the light path. God won. We're going to be okay. And we just have to play it, let it play out. Um, so yeah, I thought that was weird. Um, I thought that was kind of crazy too about how Michael Jaco's channel got deleted. Um, he's been deleted a lot. Um, there was one other thing that happened and I'm so glad to see someone else from the soul tribe here too, because I saw someone put in the chat, um, what was it? What's going on with Bryce? It was, yeah, something like what's going on with Bryce in the chat of the soul tribe, um, of the Arcana Shores episode last night. And one of the moderators said, we don't do gossip here. Keep your um, comments on topic. And I'm just going to say that I don't like that. Um, I am a happy Soul Tribe member. And I'm all about Kristen and Jason. And I love them. But please... Please don't have your moderator censor the chat. Please don't do that. Because that, my friends, is called censorship. And I just want to tell you, I will never tell you what you can or cannot discuss in my chat. Okay? Like, obviously, yeah, we we want to leave the, the big words out or, you know, the, the big bad pokey words out. Um... But, like, this channel is for us. Like, this channel is for you. Like, you're important. We're important. And I'm here just because I have, like, the guts to, like, do it and have my own channel. But I'm just a, I'm just an audience member just like you are. So I don't want to ever degrade anybody or make anybody feel less than. And, or, for example... You know, someone asked a valid question tonight with Lance Shetler. Why not just eat fish? And they were talking about the algae. Why not just eat fish? Well, um, <laughs> Jason called them a troll. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> try not to insult your own audience, please. I love you, Jason, and I love you, Kristen, but... We just cannot insult our own audience members. That's kind of why I think Catherine Edwards, the way she was lecturing and saying, mind your own business, kind of, to her own audience. It's like she's almost insulting her own audience. And I never want to do that to you guys. I never want to say you're a troll just because you have a question that may not be that someone thinks is rude, and I don't think that was rude. Why not just eat fish? That's that's not a troll thing, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I, I'm with you, Emma, and I'm fighting the good fight, and I love them. But I do have to point out when I see things that are not right, and when I see someone saying, "What's going on with Bryce?" And then a moderator saying, we don't do gossip here. Keep your topics on point. Well, that's shaming somebody and telling someone that they can't ask about something. And that's bullshit. That's bullshit. What if something happened today where, let's say, let's say Fauci resigned, which he did the other day. And someone comes on and say, did y'all hear Fauci resigned? Are they going to say that's gossip too? No. This is a community where we love and support one another. And we get help because we don't have anybody we can trust in our lives. A lot of us, our friends are completely gone. My friends, completely gone. All. <laughs> oh, I'm mad. I'm mad about it. I am. But it's hard. I know you I know you know what I'm saying too because um because a lot of your friends are gone too. 
that's why I just want to make sure I don't insult my audience members and I don't want to label anybody like say you're a troll if you ask a question in a certain way. I don't want to do that. And I do not want to see them start censoring the chat. Um, that is going to be a big red flag. And that's going to be a problem for me if that happens. Because I'll just be honest. I'll just say it right now. Um, that Michael Jaco did that. Michael Jaco started uh, censoring his chat. And that was a big red flag, especially when this happened with Kirsten. Um, they had his, they had this whole moderator army on this Kirsten patrol where no one was allowed to talk about Kirsten in the chat if it was not a video about Kirsten, which of course none of them were. Um, and so you're you're not allowed to ask. About Kirsten in the chat. And if you did, you either got blocked or you got put in timeout. And I got put in timeout and I saw them block and I saw them erase and I sat there and recorded it. I have it all. Like, saw, saw, I sat there and watched them delete every single time someone had a comment about Kirsten because the narrative is they want you to think she's dead. She's not freaking dead. She's not freaking dead. I am serious. Yeah. A lot of these truther channels censor their chat. And it is not right. So, yes. I wasn't planning on bringing that up about the Soul Tribe. Because I love the Soul Tribe. But it's important. And it's important that we keep the censorship out of our community. And we just love each other, you know, show support for one another. There's one more thing that I want to show real quick. Um, so they did have some concerns about Bryce as well. And Jason asked a question to Kristen. Where has she been MK Ultra entertainment purposes only, of course. No. Oh, sorry. I think it cut off the beginning here. There you go. No, Kristen. <sighs> you know they're messing with me. Probably my phone. <laughs> It looks like my phone doesn't want to work uh, right now. No, Kristen. There we go. Has Bryce been compromised or has she been MK Ultra? Entertainment purposes only, of course. No. Has Bryce been compromised? Was the question. Chariot, the Knight of Swords, the Moon. We do have the Devil card. So, so far we have the moon, knight of swords, also the chariot came out too. So this is kind of rushing in. This is defensive energy here. We do have the moon card, which can sometimes come through as things aren't what they seem. And then we do have the devil card. Page of cups, six of cups, seven of wands, more defensive energy here. The hierophant in reverse. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. So it is kind of showing me that there is something going on. There's obviously a dark energy, you know. So I would probably have to say that's a yes. Okay, so let's kind of let's kind of dissect this a little bit, okay? Okay. Um, for entertainment purposes only. 
but not really. Has Bryce been compromised by a negative dark energy? Yes or no? Here we go. But the Nine of Swords, we got the Eight of uh, Pentacles, which is work being done. And what else do we have here? We've got the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So something has obviously kind of corrupted or captured her. And then we do have the Page of Wands too. So okay. it's like a new identity. It's a new energy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Love and light to Bryce. Soul Tribe family, send your love and light to Bryce. A thousand percent. That's the only way that we could defeat the dark, deep cult. Not entertainment purposes only. Is wow. by sending love and light and prayers to her. So oh. she can overcome whatever is trying to... Okay. So, yes. Um, so, Bryce... Um, Emma says... Very surprising about Bryce. I really enjoyed her. I really enjoy her still. And I love her. And I think she's great. And um, and and maybe there's just something going on. So hopefully she can get past this. I'm sure she can. She's a very strong girl. Um, and so I did ask about Bryce in my reading too. And oh, mosquito in here. Um, and and I love Bryce and Bryce and um, JCK. Quantum Truths are like the reason that I started my channel. Like they gave me the courage to do it. Um, and uh, I love her. I want the best for her and I hope she's okay. And I send her love and light. And um, I asked about her. I know this is not going to fly well with her because she's all about the free will. Like all about the free will consent. But this is actually... I asked for my life like um, I was actually being affected by this and we all are like just because it, we're affected by what these people say aren't we I know you know because you guys are too um, so I asked who was by Bryce really attacked by and I said because Janine didn't do it. Um, so who was Bryce actually attacked by? The answers came out. Um, someone that's really close to her. Someone possibly a family member or a close friend. Someone that's not like a public figure, but someone that's in her life personally is was actually responsible for these attacks. Um, it, this is what came out in the cards with Kristen. Um, someone that was jealous of Bryce and doing this black magic on her. Bryce, if you see this message, who in your life could possibly be jealous of you? A close friend, um, someone, possibly a family member. Um, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, King of Swords in reverse came out, Nine of Swords. And so I said, okay, well, was it Stephanie? No, it was not Stephanie. She pulled the cards. It was not Stephanie. And just because I have people that have brought this up to my attention, I asked on behalf of them. This is not something that I came up with, but... Was it JCK? No, it was not JCK. So I asked that just because I have people in my life who think that. Um, but no, it was not JCK. It was not Stephanie. Um, but it was someone. Jealous lover, maybe, Biscuit says. I don't know. Um, I don't know. And I don't know if it was male or female either. But just remember the, the best way to protect yourself is self-love. Look, I got, look at, I got this pretty sage. Isn't this beautiful? I'm going to light it just for us. And this is just for Bryce and for us and the whole truth or movement. It is really hard to light sometimes, isn't it? 
so I asked that and um I don't know. I feel like Kristen's really good. I feel like Kristen has really good talent with the cards. I think the reason she's so good is that she doesn't question what she gets. She just says it. It's like a lot of people. will second guess these things, you know, but hmm, this is lovely. This is from I am Kent. I am Kashet.com, K E S H E T. I am Kashet. And she made this beautiful look at that. It's like an opal. She made this and she put the sage in here. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. So, what I want to do real quick before we go, because I don't want to leave on a bad note, um, I want to pray for everyone. And um, just send, I want us all to send love and light to Bryce and to prayers and love and protection to help her get through during this time. And hey, if you were wrong, I'm sure there's forgiveness for you. If you're not wrong and you stand you stand firm, it is what it is. But if it was a mistake, I think everybody will forgive you. If you, you know, if it was a mistake and possibly it was someone else and it wasn't like Tarot by Janine or uh, Julie, um, you know, just just apologize and. Everybody will put this behind us. You know, I think we all want to support her. Um, so I also have this book, um, Healing Prayer Commands by Rachel Fair Fairbay Fairbaugh. Let's talk about this super quick. How to remove black magic. This is on page 300. So we're just going to read this real quick so that we can all Remove any black magic, any curses out of our lives. Take that out, clear it out, and then be safe and protected. So it is commanded. So this is a commandment to release, to remove black magic. It is commanded that any and all symbols, rituals, sacrifices, spells, bindings, manipulations, dark magic, black magic, has been used that has been used against me in both word and in thought form be removed from my bodies now. It is commanded. It is commanded that any psychic attacks or manipulations against my free will be stopped and removed immediately. It is commanded that all demonic, satanic, luciferian, baphomet vampiric and black magic curses and commands be removed now i hereby revoke any and all claims to my bodies and to my soul from these entities now it is commanded that i remain free from interference from these entities and their programming it is commanded that i remain impervious to any and all psychic attacks i declare this as irrevocable and permanent in all timelines and realities now I stand in my personal power and sovereignty now and forevermore. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Now close your eyes and imagine a force field of iridescent white light emanating from your body. This force field of white light is so powerful that darkness can never penetrate it. This light comes from within. And it is your God energy. And this energy can never be distinguished because it is so powerful. Watch as any attempts at penetrating your force field are immediately interrupted. This force field of energy is so bright that it repels darkness instantaneously and only attracts energies of love and light. It is commanded that any future attempts at curses or darkness that is directed towards me be immediately or Bryce, B 
be immediately reflected off of my force field and sent straight to the light of God. I only allow love and light to be received. Thank you. And so it is. Now offer forgiveness for anyone specific who has cursed you or used dark magic against you. So that we did that special for Bryce and for us, for any possible spiritual attacks that we may have had. Now here is the vow of protection um, in this book, Healing Prayer Commands. Very powerful. It says, stand facing north and speak this command out loud. I align myself to God's pure energy of love and light and allow the compassion of Christ consciousness to flow through me at all times. I allow God's angels of love and light to protect me from forces of evil at all times. I allow my spirit guides who are aligned to my highest and best good and helping me to complete my life's mission to protect me from interference at all times. I offer forgiveness to those who wish to cause me harm as I remember that I am fully protected by God at all times. It is commanded that I remain invisible and impenetrable and impenetrable, impenetrable to any and all forces of darkness and evil. It is commanded that all spirits, entities, attachments that ever attempt to interfere with me will immediately be stopped and sent to the light of God. My force field is impenetrable to the darkness, and I repel all spirits who attempt to enter my energy field and try to cause me harm. I am invisible to all those who wish to cause me harm, especially people with dark spirits working through them. It is commanded that all forces of evil and darkness be removed from my reality now and forevermore. I am protected by forces of evil and darkness now and forevermore. I am invisible of forces to forces of evil and darkness now and forevermore. I am safe. I am protected by God. Thank you. And so it is. Now close your eyes and watch your force field of energy shimmer strongly with white iridescent light. No darkness can penetrate your light. Watch as any attempts at interference are immediately intercepted and bounce off your force field and sent back to the light of God. Watch as God and your angels stand by your side, protecting you from harm at all times. Feel their presence and know that you are never alone. Know that you are strong and radiant in your brilliant white light. You are the pure energy of love radiating outward into the world. I am the pure energy of God's love, and I shine my light brightly into the world and bring light to darkness wherever I go. So, out of the darkness and into the light, good morning, J. Rocco. And good night to me, because <laughs> I'm actually going to bed now. Thanks, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a lot of information kind of jam-packed in here, um, but I got to do it when and where I can. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it and sending you lots of love and lots of light. And again, you know, I don't know what happened with Bryce, but I hope she's okay. I hope she's healing. I hope she's protected. I hope she's getting rid of any negativity that's around her. And I hope she's going to be totally fine. And we will all just continue to send her love and light as well as Janine because she's been through a lot this year as well. So much love, everybody. Don't forget, tune in Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time for Janine on Arcana Shores. And also tune in 5 to 7 Pacific time or 7 to 9 Central Time on Thursday for our two-hour interview with, inter with Ishmael. That's going to be really good. Sending love and light. Bye, guys.